oh your tenant has been a great tenant they've lived in that property for as long as they have now they've given you their 30-day notice and they're moving out what do you do now hi i'm adrian harrell with newbridge management and i want to talk to you about the move out inspection on a property it's very important that you do a move out inspection because at the time when the tenant moves out and they relinquish possession of the property you know exactly what needs to be done to the home in order to get it rent ready for the next tenant but move out inspections should not start when the tenant is moving out and good move out inspection starts in the beginning when the tenant moves in. You should always consider doing a move in inspection with the tenant. Never just give them the keys, collect the money and then just say see ya. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to document the condition of the property at the time when the tenant moves in. I always tell my tenants the reason why we do this is in case there is anything that needs to be notated in the property at the time that they move in we know to look for that item at the time when they move out so that way they're not unfairly charged for things that were already present in the property one of the silliest examples that i always use is if there's a hole in the wall then we document that hole in the wall we tell them if the hole has a twin then you're responsible for that at the time when you move out but you wouldn't know about that original hole in the wall if you didn't do a move-in inspection at the time when the tenant takes possession of the property once the tenant gives you their 30 day notice and they're getting ready to vacate, I would also recommend that you do a pre move out inspection. Of course, not a lot of people like to do that because they're saying, oh, my life is a mess. I'm in boxes. It's okay. That's not what you're there to do. What you are there to do is to take the original move in inspection and do a kind of a comparison for the tenant before they give you the keys. That way they have the opportunity to go back and say, oh, I didn't take care of this or I didn't take care of that. Before I move out, I'll make sure that all of these items are taken care of. The things that I always say, make sure that you document and that in the beginning of the, the process in the move in inspection is make sure all of your light bulbs are working. Even if a single light bulb is out replace it before the tenant moves in so that way when the tenant moves out you make sure that all of the light bulbs are working a light bulb is not an expensive item but the time that it takes to go purchase one and replace it is what becomes expensive so light bulbs make sure they're all working buy brand new drip pans um, a lot of stoves you can buy their drip pans from any of the hardware stores and having a brand new drip pan in the in the stove may seem simple but they never clean easily at the time when the tenant after the tenant has been there for a few years so if you replace them in the beginning you let them know that I expect those to be replaced at the end when they move out all of the door stops make sure that the door stops are, are on the doors and that when the tenant does move out test out all of the batteries on the smoke detectors and the carbon monoxide detectors make sure that the filter in the AC system if there is one that has was replaced when the tenant moved in so it was brand new and when they move out that it is replaced when they move out one of the things that I also always say is make sure your carpets are shampooed. While there's no law that says the carpets have to be shampooed when the tenant moves out, you can require that the tenant replace have the carpet shampooed when they move out, regardless of how old or how long they've been in, in the property. Because their standard of clean carpet is not the same as yours and having the carpets professionally cleaned when they move in is the expectation that you have of them when they move out so make sure that that's done the final thing that you should also consider is the life of the the product that is in the home so if you have a carpet that has a 10-year life expectancy and the tenant was only there two years and after two years you have to replace the carpet because they were damaged to a point that they cannot be cleaned or or repaired then you would have have to prorate the first two years out and you can only charge the tenant for the remaining eight years which is the life expense expectancy of the carpet and also if the tenant has been in a property more than three years don't really you can't really charge them for for paint because that is considered part of normal wear and tear however if they've only been there for one year or six months or seven months and now you have to repaint the whole house Again, you have to prorate that amount for the first six or seven months and then charge them for the remaining balance. These are some of the tips and tricks for the move out inspections when the tenants move out. So if you don't wanna deal with these headaches, let us handle it for you. That's what we're here for. Adrian Harrell with Newbridge Management.